This is the sun. Well, it's a picture of the sun on my phone. This is the sun. Scientists say it's a hot burning ball of gas, but if that is the case, then why does it go out each night? My four-year-old tells me this. The sun is hot and it's a star. Now, I'm not sure who is right, but one thing is clear. Ever since the dawn of man, we've asked ourselves one question. What happens when you set the toaster to nine? So, sorry, sorry, that's the wrong question. I mean, how can I fly my drones with the power of the sun? Did you know that a freestyle battery like this can be north of 3,500 Indian rupees? I had no idea, mainly because I have no idea what that currency actually is valued at. However, for most people playing along at home, that's about 40 US dollars. Now here's the crazy part, right? A racing drone or a freestyle drone like this is going to use one of these $40 batteries. Now, how much flight time do you actually get? Well, if you're really ripping it around hard, you're going to get about three minutes. So what does that mean if I wanna go out for a weekend session and fly around and I wanna have 30 minutes of actual air time? Well, I'm gonna need 10 of these batteries. 10 times 40, that is $400 that you would need to spend if you wanted to charge up all those batteries at once and just have half an hour in the air of insane flight with a craft like this. But today, we're gonna to turn that equation on its head because we're gonna use this one battery and get potentially unlimited flying with the power of the sun. Now, Stuart, how are you doing that? Well, we're using this. This is the R600. It's gonna be linked down below. It is the main focus of the video. This. Whoa, it's too big. <laughs> Along with this, and probably also some coffee as well, but that's that's more for me, not for not for this experiment. Now, with the plans of unlimited power laid out and what we're gonna be doing today, uh, the main unit that we're gonna be using, we should have a bit of a closer look, is this R600. It was sent over from All Power, and essentially it is a absolutely massive, huge battery that is doing some pretty cool things. Now, the plan is to run the charger off it, get unlimited power from the sun, but I've also taken this thing camping. We've used it a whole bunch, and uh, I've kind of had it set aside for a little while, and I thought, this is a pretty cool video. I should probably show this off because I know there's going to be a lot of people out there who go on some big missions when it goes to flying. They might be doing some all day flying. Having an option like this is going to serve a significant portion of our FPV community. Whether you're charging batteries, charging phones, running LED gates, uh, there is a whole bunch that this can do, especially when we marry it up to the solar panel as well. And I think that thing can go up to like 200 watts. I'll put that, I'll put some stats on this on the screen as well. But this is the fun part. This is the part that I want to do. We're going to take this out. We're gonna rip some packs, find out just how many amps and how much we can charge from this. And is it a worthwhile investment? And does it suit your sort of flying? Or can you find some other things you wanna do with it as well? So let's go do it in three, two, one. Let's do it, let's harness this sun energy. I uh, got my drone, let's rip it around one of these packs and then set up the all powers and the battery and the solar panels and uh, get some of that free flight time. See ya. Oh, almost, man. <laughs> almost got close. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You skimmed off it. <laughs> Trying to get some of that wireless goodness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. It's a little bit hard to see the screen. Oh, no, actually, that's not too bad. <laughs> Sorry, that was just when it was first turning on. Yeah, like, that's no, pretty, pretty bright, enough. to be honest, for this sun. Uh, let's plug this in. Get that. Turn that on. I'm going to get my battery. Go. Go A side. Right, I'm charging a 6S pack at one end. So uh, let's, uh, we'll come back and just because we can, we might as well set up the solar panel as well and charge it at the same time. Juice for days. So that's great. You don't even need to have a DC power battery charger. Yeah, that's right. Holy. Yeah. Do you know if you could run? Oh, that's a beautiful little setup, man. Yeah, is that XT60 already? Yep. What? That's it. And we are on, this is only costing 30. Yeah, so unlimited. 
<laughs> That's insane. It is a pretty hot day here though. It is, but you're gonna get plenty of juice coming in. Yep. I'm not gonna worry at all. All right, so there's a setup. Let's uh, charge up with some free solar power. Keep ripping and then uh, do a pack at the end, courtesy of La Sun. <laughs> This might not come up in the screen, but Steve, can you read that? What's that say on the screen there? Done. She's done. Yes. So uh, we have charged it up. Thank you very much uh, to the giant ball of burning gas in the sky. This has been a bit warm sitting in the sun, I yep. must say. But uh, one of the crazy things with the solar panel as well, it is like 90, it's on 99%. So not only have we charged our battery, significantly we have charged this a lot faster than this so we've gained charge in here as well while charging our external so i don't know um, i'm kind of a fan i like it what about you steve what do you think that's a great setup so many applications for camping boating whatever so uh it's been pretty good weather out here camping segment steve in the background we have a bit of australian wildlife so uh don't have that goenna's just strolling through the camp right there but what did you think of uh this all power like huge battery bank i think we ran it basically the whole weekend yeah pretty much all weekend charged heaps of phones yeah out some lights and things yeah, yeah well, i don't know what it's actually on now uh it is on we're on 91 percent. 91 <laughs> okay so my, my wife has been doing it uh she used the wireless charging yeah all right what do you think of it i think it's great yeah, yeah. we the didn't need you can solar panel charge yeah but we didn't need that we didn't bring that because it's like got yeah. power for days yeah. for, for what we did That's anyway. a good little unit, hey? all right it's time for some testing in the australian sun look i'm no scientist but this thing we got it down to about five percent it has been in the sun for exactly 30 minutes i set a timer up and so from our five percent and i just clicked this when i came down here we are now up to i don't know if that's going to come through uh 31 percent there so we've got 136 watts coming off the solar panels uh it is probably about as good as it can get i mean we could place face them straight up you'd probably get a little bit more but a very hot australian sun now look, when I first started this video, it was a bit of fun. I thought this is pretty cool, a cool piece of tech, but it has become more relevant to my drone life than I thought would actually be the case. Because recently, since I first got this a couple of months ago, testing it out, all that sort of stuff, making the video, I've taken away camping. I use it all the time. And one of the big things when I go out to the field now, I bring this along because when I'm flying around with the latest O4 air units and stuff like that using my N3 goggles, because these stupid things have a USB powered like you can't swap the battery pack out, I need a system like this in the field just in case I wanna charge something up. That might not be a problem for most people, but for pilots like myself who fly an awful lot, just having this, that option there, I can take it out to the field, I really like. I like the wireless charging and I actually have been using this upstairs as my main USB charger because it's got so many ports on the front. I didn't think it'd be that useful, but the amount of like things we're plugging into the wall all the time, my wife and I are stealing each other's chargers. I just set this to rock and roll and have like six cords coming out the front of it. And it's like the ultimate charging station. And when it, get fl when it gets flat, it feels pretty good to be able to take it outside. And it just feels good to know, hey, I'm using some renewable resources to power my devices and also get me flying. So I'm gonna say thumbs up for the all power solution. It's not gonna be for everybody, but I am using this far more than I thought I would when I first agreed to do this video. And I've had it for a long time doing its testing in. Yeah, it's just uh, getting a double thumbs up for me. So that link's gonna be down below. Go check them out. And if you've got any questions, please put them down below and I will do my best to answer it. And also you can ask some questions over on DIY FPV as well. Like it is the greatest website possible for drones. Hundreds of thousands of products across all the major stores. If you ever wanna find the best price, just remember before you buy, think DIY. All right.